Hello friends, Merry Christmas and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I've got two awesome, delicious, easy breakfast casseroles to share with you guys. That would be perfect for Christmas morning. I've got one savory and one sweet. This is like your four favorite things in the world. This is my four favorite things in the world put together. This right here is good. <laughs> Okay, so Bunky and I actually made our first casserole last night. So I'm gonna take you guys back to then. And spoiler alert, it is so, so delicious. Y'all are gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on our savory breakfast casserole. This is gonna be so simple. It would be perfect for your Christmas morning. I honestly cannot wait for this because y'all know like I love breakfast so much. And this to me is like my perfect breakfast so let me show you the ingredients there's only a few of them we're gonna get everything all mixed up and then pop it in the oven okay so you're gonna need some tater tots and my grocery store only had these mini tater tots which i think is gonna be even better so i'm going with these then you're also gonna need there goes the oven you're also gonna need some bacon some eggs cheese ranch seasoning and then we'll also need some milk here in just a second um b and i are actually halving this recipe since it's just him and i but i will leave the actual one linked down below for you guys okay i'm gonna go ahead and get bunky on bacon duty all that kind of like bunky, bunky on, on bacon, bacon duty okay you go <laughs> ahead and do that and then um i'm gonna go ahead and start whisking up our eggs and milk and get our cheese shredded and i'm cooking all of this in a frying pan Unless you want to put it in the oven. I say do it in the frying pan. It'll cook faster. Okay, we'll get our um, massive fry pan out. Yeah. Already over here eating <laughs> all the cheese, but I can't stop sneaking some too. Um, but I have a question for you. Are we gonna use all of this? No, oh gosh, no. We'll okay. take some of it. Okay. Um. Unless you're making the full recipe, then you gotta use it all. Yeah, you don't want to need one cup when you cut it in half. Right. I have a question for you, B. Uh huh. When you were growing up as a kid, what did y'all have on Christmas morning for breakfast? Or did you do breakfast? Oh no, yeah, we would. It was something very similar to this, but I think it had real slices of bread that you cubed up. Oh, your mom uses like um like a loaf of like white bread. Yeah, cubed up and then. But it's like everything else is the same. Like you just like dump eggs and salt. It would be a sausage. We oh, a sausage yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So when I was growing up, my um, dad would always make like a big breakfast in the morning. He always makes our breakfast. My dad makes like the best scrambled eggs. So we'd always do like eggs and bacon and biscuits and... Mama's biscuits? No, just like Pillsbury biscuits, I feel like. This was whenever I was a lot younger, you know? And then... Um, I feel like, and probably pancakes too. Um, and then, like as I got a little bit older, I feel like my mom started doing more breakfast casseroles. So for, for the past like several years, we've actually done breakfast casseroles and that is like my jam. Now do these tater tots need to be pre-cooked? No, like crispy or no? No, you put them in there frozen. Uh -huh. And the breakfast casserole we're gonna make in the morning tomorrow, mm -hmm. the sweet one, that, oh my gosh, is gonna be incredible. That's, so I'm super that, excited. That's more my speed. You're gonna love that one. The sugar. Yeah. Also, I just want to say, Harris Teeter. Actually, I think they had the bacon that I normally get, but it was so expensive. I was like, "There's no way I'm paying for this." So I got the Harris Teeter brand. But can I tell you something? It's looking good. Oh, you think? Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but it looks so much thinner than my other bacon. So some, now I'm like, I should have paid for the other bacon. No, some of these slices are a little bit. There's. Uh, I think the difference is. The consistency in the cut because there are a couple of these slices that are actually pretty thick uh -huh. that one over here is actually kind of thin but the yeah. rest of them are pretty pretty consistent so we got like eight good i counted them too there's oh, 12. okay <laughs> you so would I could, well I, I wanted to split it evenly in two batches yeah but anyway there's um there was like two thicker pieces two thinner pieces and then eight i guess consistent normal size pieces 
And there you have it. Here's to your... Oh. <laughs> what are you filming? <laughs> what are you... <laughs> Is there something on top of my head? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying, Bonky. I gotta show you. Now that I showed you, are you gonna leave it like that the whole video? Yeah. <laughs> It's so cute. That's my alfalfa. Yes. For all of you little rascals fans out yes. there. Okay, this is looking really good now. I know, right? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get um our eggs cracking. Mm. Go ahead and get those. I wish we had some orange juice to go with this. Oh, we can make like a little mimosa. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Check out this slice. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. It's so thin. Look at it. That it's like translucent. Yeah, and then you got this guy here. Oh yeah, that's a good thickness. Like that. I see what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my eggs over here. Um, the actual recipe calls for eight, and then two cups of milk and one packet of ranch seasoning. Um, but since we're halving it, obviously four one cup of milk, half a packet of this, and then y'all know I love some sour cream in my eggs. So although the recipe doesn't call for this, I'm just gonna add in a little dollop of it anyway. I think it'll be nice and creamy. And then we'll go ahead and whisk this all together. Okay, so Bunky got all of my bacon cooked and I went ahead and just kind of like tore it apart into little tiny bite-sized pieces. Mm. So we're just gonna take our, um, I've also hash browns, but we're gonna take our tater tots and if you're making the entire recipe, use like a nine by 13, but since we're halving it, we're gonna use our smaller dish. I did go ahead and kind of like lightly grease it. So you're just gonna add your tater tots, your bacon, and your cheese in here and kind of like mix it together with your hands or spatula or whatever. Give it a toss. Give it a toss. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna do that. Even though Bunky said he wants to add in our tater tots. I just want you to make sure you do about half the bag like you're supposed to. I'm um, definitely gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> I know. See, it's gonna be like. Oh, these are cute. It's gonna be very. Look how many they are. They're not much smaller than the usual size, are they? Oh my gosh, they're like half the size. No way. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. That's okay. good. Wow. Too much? It's fine, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. To our tater tots, we're gonna add in our bacon. Lordy, we're gonna be coming right up to the, the edge here. I know. Then we're gonna add in our cheese. About a cup of cheese. A little bit more if you, you know, don't care. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's I mean, good. I, you know, that's good, that's good, that's good. You know, we're cheese heads. We're cheese heads, okay. And just kind of toss this together. We're, we're like losing tots and cheese here. Yeah. Maybe we should have used a nine by 13. No, I think it's gonna be right with this. Gosh, I'm doing a terrible job. I need two hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> now to this, we're just gonna literally pour our egg mixture right over top. I'm gonna kind of get everybody in there. Yeah. Get us evened out a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it making so much noise? <laughs> Apparently uh, that dish is no longer flat. I don't think so. Okay, I gotta wash my hands. Okay, I checked the recipe. It is not set to cover, so we're just gonna pop it in the oven. This is gonna bake for about an hour or until those eggs are like nice and set up. Those eggs are gonna be set up quick. It's gonna be the uh, tots that Need to cook for a little bit? Yeah. Every, everything's just gonna come together very well. I can feel it. Okay, but one hour, that's gonna be like a long time to wait. Well, what should we do in the meantime? Mm, I know what you wanna do. You wanna watch some football. <laughs> you wanna watch some football. Okay, so this has been in here for just about 50 minutes, and I think it looks literally perfect. Oh that, my gosh. That is looking really good. That looks so good. I'm gonna like do the knife trick and make sure it's cooked all the way through the center. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Um. This looks incredible. 
I think we're gonna have to let it sit here for just a few minutes. It looks really you know? hot. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna. We're, we we need to have some patience. Let it set for about at least five to six. If yeah. Not, if not like ten. But I'm probably gonna just grab this right here. Oh my gosh, y'all! This looks incredible. Like I could eat this entire thing just by myself for sure. What? Yes. I could do half in one sitting and half in the other. Okay, I cannot wait any longer because this just looks so amazing. Oh, look at the cheese. I know. Wow, this looks amazing. You're going in on it, huh? I have to, like I need a bite of this. Okay. Literally, I don't know how we say like mouth jets. <laughs> mouth jets. It's like waterfalls, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm like drooling so bad, like my mouth is watering so bad that I'm trying to blow this and like water is coming out of my mouth. Ooh. Is it cooled off yet? Y'all. This is like your four favorite things in the world. This is my four favorite things in the world put together. Well, I know that eggs, cheddar cheese, and uh, you know, we can call these hash browns. But I tater mean, they're, tots. they're tater tots, you know. And ranch. Oh, and ranch. And then you have the option of bacon or sausage in this bad boy. Legit. Lost for words. Lost for words. And you know what I love more about this than most like breakfast casseroles I've ever made? What? Most of them I've always made with like um, biscuits, like biscuit dough. And even when I pull it apart to try and make it not so like doughy. You know, it still has like that biscuit texture, mm -hmm. but I love just the like tater tot texture minus like the bread. Yeah. It is divine. Like we made this like very similar type thing, but with just biscuits laid across the bottom. Right. That's what I'm saying. I like the tater tot yeah. better and the ranch seasoning in there gives it like the best flavor. And I will say this was super simple, especially if you go ahead and like prep your bacon. And yeah. if you want to, you can go ahead and like basically make this but not bake it and then just cover it and refrigerate it or you could freeze it and then that way it's already prepped. Christmas morning, you just take it out, bake it. Like, could not be simpler. Mm, I kind of do smell the, uh, I smell the, ran the ranch powder coming through. The ranch gives it a lot of flavor. I, I do, I my mouth's watering so much too, it's yeah. difficult to speak. Yeah, I cannot wait to know what you think because you know, you could care less about potatoes and like you're not the biggest breakfast fan like I am. Mm -hmm. I definitely need to burn my tongue. Oh gosh, I know, it's so hot. I will say, Uh huh. that is nice. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Delish. I was hesitant about the tots. Right. Because I do like just, the bread usually. Yes. However. That's how your mom's always made it. It is nice with tots. I'm telling you, so good. Okay, y'all. We will meet you back here in the kitchen in the morning for our sweet breakfast casserole. It's also going to be equally as delicious. It's the sweet treats. The sweet treats. Y'all, I'm like embarrassed to tell you how much of that casserole I ate last night. It was so good. Like probably one of my favorite breakfast casseroles ever. And we actually had like a really nice glass of wine with dinner, which was such a fun little treat. And it was so good, like perfectly balanced, not too dry, not too sweet, just so good. So I do want to take a quick second and thank Wink for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to tell you guys more about them. And if you are still looking for a great last minute gift, especially a gift that keeps on giving, Wink has got you covered. So let me tell you about them. So Wink is an online wine delivery company that I've heard so many people rave about. So of course I had to try it out for myself and they craft over 200 bottles of the internet's favorite wines and then deliver them directly to your doorstep. And if you want to try new wines, but you're like a little bit intimidated to do so, Wink has got you covered. You just go online and take a really fun one minute quiz. And that way they can learn like your different taste preferences and they'll recommend four different bottles every month for you. And they have tons of different wines to choose from. So no matter your lifestyle or dietary preferences, you can filter it by low sugar, vegan, and even sustainable wines. So of course I love the convenience of Wink, but also I 
I really like trying new wines. And fun fact, I actually only used to drink white wine. And I was like, I don't think I can do the red. But once I started branching out, I found red wines that I really, really enjoy. And now I would say that I actually like red wine better than white wine, but I love them both so much. But it's fun because sometimes Bunky and I will have like date night at home and he'll drink wine with me. And it's just such a nice, fun treat. And all of the wine that I have ever gotten from Wink, we love. They always pair me with the best bottles. And around the holidays, I just love having things on hand. I can give them as gifts and I know whoever is receiving it is going to love it. So Wink has no membership fees. You can skip any month or cancel at any time. And they will replace any bottle that you do not absolutely love, which I think is incredible. And they also have membership perks. So be sure y'all head down to my description box and click that link to get their special holiday offer of four bottles for $24. $4.95. That is an incredible deal. And to top it off, shipping is free, which is even better. This promo ends at the end of December, so don't wait. And after December 30th, you can still use my promo to get four bottles for $29.95 plus free shipping. Okay, so now to get started on our sweet breakfast casserole, we are gonna make a cinnamon French toast bake. How good does that sound? And we're gonna be using some cinnamon rolls. My store was out of the Pillsbury, so I just got the Food Line brand, which will work just fine. I have all of the ingredients here, minus powdered sugar and maple syrup, which I'll get out in a second. But you're gonna need some butter, vanilla extract, some nutmeg and cinnamon. Um, you can use pecans, this is optional, but Heck yes, I think that little crunch on there will be so good. You'll also need some heavy cream, flour, and then some eggs, and that is it. Okay, so to get started, I have my nine by 13 baking dish, and then I have a quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick, and I'm actually just gonna stick this into my oven as it's preheating and let this butter completely melt. I learned that trick from my mom, and it is like genius. Now to my bowl, I'm gonna whisk together my eggs, which I will leave all of the exact measurements in the recipe down below. But I've got two eggs, half a cup of heavy cream. I'm also gonna do my flour, which I think is two tablespoons. And then I have my vanilla extract, my nutmeg, and my cinnamon. We're just gonna whisk that entire mixture together. Let me tell y'all, that mixture right there already reminds me of like Christmas morning. It smells so good. So next we're gonna take our cinnamon rolls and we are going to cut them up into like little tiny bites. So we'll probably half them and then half the halves and maybe even go one more. So cut them up tiny and then we're going to dump them in this mixture and stir it all together. And we need to check on the butter. Okay, that is perfect. Let me go ahead and get it out. I think we'll just half it and then half it so you'll have four pieces of your one cinnamon roll. Okay, so now we are just gonna put our cinnamon rolls into our mixture, stir this all together, and then we will put this in our baking dish and top it with some pecans and it will be ready to go in the oven. Okay, this just looks so beautiful. So it's going into the oven at 350 degrees for like 18 to 25 minutes, just keep an eye on it. Okay, so it's been in the oven for just about 20 minutes and look at how good this looks, y'all. But we are not done yet. So to this, we are gonna add all of that cinnamon roll. 
icing right over top and I just kind of stuck it in the microwave for just a few seconds to make sure it's like nice and melty. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> And still not done because next we're going to take a little bit of powdered sugar and sprinkle it all over the top as well. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sight? I have got to get Bunky down here so we can taste test this because I cannot wait a second longer. I mean, can you even handle it? Do you even know what this is? Uh... All I know is it looks really good. <laughs> I didn't even tell Bunky what I was making this morning. Where should I? Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Okay. This is looking like a good little section. I like cannot get over how amazing this like smells. Is this like super fancified cinnamon rolls? This is a cinnamon French toast bake using using the cinnamon rolls. Mm. Well, Maybe we should have gotten a spatula. I went a little large there. Oh, we got it. Oh my goodness. B. <laughs> this is about to be crazy good. A cup of cold milk. Yes. This. And there's pecans and powdered sugar and all kinds of good stuff in there. Nutmeg, cinnamon. Are we ready? Are yeah, we you ready? can taste test and then I'll taste test. Mmm. That's right, your alley. This right here is good. <laughs> this to me is what I want to eat on Christmas morning versus the tater tot thing. But, I know. But maybe, you know, you can make both. You make both. And then you got everybody covered. I cannot wait. Like, it's really that good? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need a bite. The French toast description is accurate. Okay. I want some and then you got the cinnamon roll, the pecan. Mmm. It's like. Oh my good. goodness. Yeah. Wow. It literally tastes just like French toast. Oh. I know. But it's like French toast cinnamon. <laughs> like it's crazy. You know what I forgot? What you? I read the recipe. You also can add um, maple syrup to this, like drizzled on top. Mmm. Oh man. Okay, y'all, so that is going to do it for this video, but thank you so much for hanging out with us in the kitchen. If I don't see you before Christmas, I hope you and your family have the most amazing, wonderful Christmas. I am so thankful for each of you. We have had the best year ever getting to hang out with you guys, and I cannot wait to do it again next year. Don't forget to check out link down below in my description box. Y'all give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.